you can see the, the, the problem. So I want to back up now, see. Hear that? But I know what's wrong because the timing chain's loose. Yep. So I picked cam sensor for a hundred bucks. Uh -huh. It might fix it. But because I know the timing chain's loose, it might not fix it. So this uses 10 mil. You have to be careful with the nuts. Don't lose them or else. It's time to remove it. Holy crap. Now that little thing there is going to be hard for me to take it up remove this bolt here. It's all done. So I got 13 mil for the bolt here. Now next thing that I have to remove is the computer of your car which is holded by one uh two uh only two bolts holding it pay attention to the back of the lock so see that that means this is unlocked now you can pull this up but you have to undo it undo the bolt first so same thing here okay so now we'll undo the bolt now we remove this then i'm going to remove this too And my computer is removed. But there's a plastic holding it here. So I had to use maybe a flyer for this one just to get it out. So this is just like a clip. It's hard to do things in one hand. I just just pinch that clip there, push it up. Have your computer remove put this in a safe place access to my master uh, clutch cylinder which is connected to your brake um, brake fluid reservoir and the clutch master cylinder is back there you see that so that's the vice grip to stop it from leaking because that hose is connected to your uh, clutch master cylinder and it supplies the uh, hydraulic fluid so if you see the pin on top of the clutch master cylinder pull that up and then uh, afterwards pull the high pressure pipe towards you and that's gonna free up that uh, clutch master cylinder In order for you to remove the clutch master cylinder, uh, you have to undo that thing there that's holding it on the pedal. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, there's a pin holding it. Now, once you remove the pedal, 
as you remove it. Now you can twist it from the back of your uh, dashboard. <coughs> the back of your firewheel, I know. So your firewheel is this. So you just have to twist that uh, counterclockwise to remove it from there. It's better to wear a gloves like this to protect your hands because there are some uh, sharp um, bolts back there when you hit it it might you might get cut so I have to wear this now the clutch master cylinder is already removed and uh, here's the problem Okay, so your clutch master cylinder is this piece here. This controls your gear change. When you put your gear or when you shift, you have to press the clutch pedal, right? But the problem is your clutch master cylinder is made up of plastic. So this piece is made up of plastic. Now this is attached to your clutch pedal. Now this is precise. The measurement of this is precise. When this is not really a perfect circle, uh, there's a big gap in between the rod. So your rod has that. So for example, your your rod is this, and this is your uh, clutch master cylinder. Now when you push this, it doesn't really push it all the way because there's a gap. So when you push it, there's still a gap in, in between and the clutch doesn't like that. It doesn't release the clutch uh, when you shift it, especially on reverse or um, when you shift one, two or three, uh, you're gonna have a hard time shifting because of that little gap. So apparently the fix that I did didn't work on my car so I unfortunately have to buy the whole piece which costed me $175 Canadian dollars for this but it's all brand new it's a brand new master clutch cylinder and I'm going to install it now I'm going to replace the old one that I have and see if that fixes everything on my car good luck to us take a look at the difference between the new one and then the old one so the new one comes with the hose but I'm not going to use the hose anymore because I have existing one there and basically I'm just gonna shove this in bleed my uh, master cylinder and hopefully we're all good see the difference between the whole the distance of the hole yeah, it's really off so this is my new clutch master cylinder and now I'm putting it in and wow there's no slack see perfect so I can release my clutch now hey okay, that's good so there's no slack compared to the one that I have back then. Has really big gap at the back. Now it's good. Hope, hoping for the best. Put back the uh, supply line from my reservoir to to the clutch master cylinder. And now I'm going to bleed my uh, master cylinder until it's full. Then I'm going to bleed the line from that going to my uh, slave master cylinder which is underneath here it's underneath there it's kind of hard to see right. so it's right yeah it's right here see that so the clutch the secondary or slave master cylinder is right there or slave cylinder clutch cylinder I don't know what it's called but yep okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, remove 
this this clamp here so that the um, brake fluid is gonna go straight to my uh, clutch master cylinder back there and I'm gonna let it drip and then I'm gonna put back in the high pressure line uh, to it so that uh, I can fill it up First, make sure that you buy a bigger bottle of a brake fluid, which is a dot tree. It'll say here it's a dot tree, so I need to use a dot tree fluid, or else it's it's gonna damage your uh, brake system and your clutch system. Okay, so I've got this, and I'm going to open up my reservoir here. Then I'm going to remove this and I'm going to let it drip there. Uh, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's pull. See the, the reservoir is going down. Or do I need to pump it? Maybe. But guess it's not it's not dripping so maybe I need to pump it so I'm gonna go inside and pump it now it's open see it drips so I got a drip back there. So I put back everything together, the hose line, the high pressure line, and now I'm going to bleed the brakes. Huh? Are you praying? No, I'm going I'm I'm blogging this. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the reservoir filled with that tree brake fluid. And we're going to bleed the brakes now. So they're going to pump the uh, touch for. Ready? Yep. Count one, two. Yes, right to the floor. Yes, 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 to the to So I'm gonna undo the high pressure line. Yes, sir. I'm gonna pull the high pressure line then. Yes, sir. Undo it. Not a lot. Just maybe one turn. It, it's not a turn. It's a, It's just a clip holding it. Okay. okay I pull it out. Yeah, now. Maybe you need to pump it. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I'm close. Pump it. Okay. Two, three. I'll open it up. I uh, don't see any bubbles, but it's it's kind of hard to see. It's just dripping, you know. So that sums up the day, guys. We've successfully changed my clutch master cylinder. Although it took me maybe two hours to do everything, the replacement, the bleeding of the master cylinder. But there's another uh, upcoming problem. My clutch, 
uh, pad is wearing out so I have to take a look and see if I can change that by myself because it's gonna be a big job but so far the driving the gear the shifting gear is good see I can shift really smooth now compared to before like I have to but now now so it's good that's a good sign and I don't have any problem on putting my car in reverse it doesn't grind anymore so big thumbs up it's me I did it by myself my god I saved maybe I think $400 probably or $500 for stacks on labor for that but yeah that's it guys that's how you live in Canada you have to do your own repair to save money you have to try and do it all by yourself that's how you live here if you're not rich enough if you're not earning big enough money then you have to learn it by yourself that's the key in living here in Canada so hopefully that helps you guys uh, if you have Hyundai Elantra and you're having a problem with your clutch master cylinder I will suggest you have to replace it and do not do the stupid things I did on my old uh, clutch master cylinder it's gonna save you big big time if you replace it with a brand new one although you have to spend maybe two hundred dollars or yeah two hundred dollars for the um, the parts but it's still worth it you save money on labor right that's it guys have a good day bye